Can we clone the dinosaurs? This is a question that people have been asking for decades, or at least since the early 90s. So let's dive into the answer. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe. It only takes two clicks, and it helps our content reach more people. There are two main methods that scientists could hypothetically use to bring back the dinosaurs. Cloning is the act of creating a genetic copy of an already existing organism. To understand whether or not we can clone dinosaurs, it's important to note that while we do have cloning technology, it's not nearly as advanced as what they have in Jurassic Park. This is Dolly. Dolly was the first clone we ever successfully made. How we make clones like Dolly is we take an egg cell, remove its DNA, add the DNA of the creature we're trying to clone, introduce electricity to fuse it together, and from there, the cell has the potential to develop naturally until it is born. So to make a dinosaur clone, we need DNA from a dinosaur. But the dinosaurs have all rotted away a long time ago, so where do we get dinosaur DNA? There is a kind of fossil called amber. Amber comes from tree resin, and sometimes bugs get stuck in tree resin, and are preserved when the resin fossilizes to amber. In Jurassic Park, they find in Amber a mosquito who drank blood from a dinosaur right before getting stuck in tree resin. And so, they extract the DNA from the blood inside the mosquito inside the Amber. The problem with using this method in real life is that DNA is a very big, very complicated molecule. After a creature dies, its DNA decays. With the rate at which DNA breaks down, even under the best circumstances, the oldest DNA we have is about 2 million years old. And the dinosaurs are a lot older than a couple million years. Even if we found dinosaur DNA from blood in a mosquito in amber, the DNA turned to mush a very long time ago and is completely unusable. It would be like throwing a book into a wood chipper that is also on fire and based on whatever's left trying to learn the story of the book. Does this mean that reviving dinosaurs is impossible? Well, that brings us to plan B. Some scientists are trying to take chickens and alter their genetics to give them features similar to their non-avian relatives. As silly as this may sound, they have successfully created a chicken embryo with a head that looks slightly more like a dinosaur than a normal chicken. So, will you soon be able to visit Chickenosaurus Park? where you can go watch the chickenosaurs until they escape and enact vengeance for all the dinosaur chicken nuggets you have eaten? Well, not quite. Because of this abomination. This is a pug, and it should not exist. At least not in the way that it does. You see, this is what a pug is supposed to look like. This pug from the 1800s has a snout, like dogs are supposed to have. But modern pugs don't really have snouts. Their snouts have been squished into their faces, which makes it harder for them to breathe. The reason why they are like this is because humans bred them to be that way. Turning a pug from this to this is one thing. It is another thing to turn a chicken from this to this. We could very well be condemning these animals to very short, painful, unhealthy lives, which leads to numerous ethical questions. Okay, so the dinosaurs are out of the question. But what about other extinct animals, like everybody's favorite Ice Age creature, the woolly mammoth? Mammoths are much more recently extinct than dinosaurs, and scientists recently recovered a complete mammoth DNA genome. But even with a more complete DNA sample, we encounter other problems when trying to clone extinct animals. There is no living mother of that species to carry the clone until it is born. With mammoths, the best that we can try to do is use Asian elephants, which are the closest living relatives of mammoths, but Asian elephants are still a completely different animal from mammoths. We don't know if this would work or what consequences it would have for the Asian elephant or the mammoth. Even if it does work, we also don't know how to take care of a baby mammoth, and the closest thing you would have to a mother is a completely different species of creature. There is also the problem that mammoths went extinct for a reason. If we revive mammoths from extinction, they might not be able to survive in the wild on their own. To sum everything up, we can't clone dinosaurs like they do in Jurassic Park, 
at least not with the technology and understanding of genetics that we currently have, but who knows, we might be able to revive more recently extinct animals such as mammoths, but even that is much easier said than done. Thanks for watching guys, again don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below whether or not you think that cloning dinosaurs would backfire on us like it does in Jurassic Park.